Good afternoon to you. This is your News for Now update. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And a man known as the Times Square Torso Killer just today confessed to more murders from prison. 76-year-old Richard Cottingham is now pleading guilty to the murders of multiple women in the late 60s and early 70s on Long Island. And that includes a number of cold cases. Cottingham is currently serving a life sentence for his other crimes. And News 4's Paisy Chang has the details. Yes, Richard Cottingham, the so-called torso killer, was back in court in Mineola today where he pleaded guilty to a 1968 cold case murder of a 23-year-old mother and Valley Stream. However, the big news today is that he also confessed to murdering four other women here in Nassau County. Part of the plea deal is that he confessed to these four new murders to help give the families closure, but he is not going to be prosecuted for these cases. Today, he admitted to killing 23-year-old Diane Cusick. She had gone to the mall in 1968, the Green Acres Mall, to buy a pair of shoes. She never made it home. He confessed in court to punching her in the face, taping up her mouth and her hands, raping her, and then strangling her to death. For that, he is going to face 25 years to life in prison, but he's already in a New Jersey prison, serving over 100 years for several different murders that he has been convicted of. A lot of families were affected by this torso killer, and today we hope to hear more from them at a news conference that the Nassau District Attorney's Office is holding. For now, reporting from Mineola, Paisy Cheng, News 4 New York. All right, right now, police on Staten Island trying to track down the person behind a possible hate crime, shooting a seven-year-old Jewish boy and his father with a BB gun. This all happened Sunday afternoon outside a kosher market in Castleton Corners. Investigators say those shots were fired from a black Ford Mustang with no license plate, which then sped off down Victory Boulevard. We're told that boy was grazed in the ear and the man was hit in the chest. The NYPD is now investigating this as a possible hate crime. A father in Connecticut accused of killing his 11-month-old daughter is set to go before a judge today. Christopher Francis Queenie was arrested Friday afternoon near Waterbury after a more than two-week manhunt. Police credit the community for helping them find him through an anonymous tip. This weekend, family and loved ones remembered his daughter, Camilla Francisquini, on what would have been her first birthday. Amen. Firefighters are trying to figure out what started this fire in the Bronx. Flames took over this pizza shop. It's in the Melrose section. That fire started on Cortland Avenue near East 155th Street just before 2.30 this morning. At this point, no word of any injuries. Well, Suffolk County is stepping up its investigation into a cyber attack that allowed hackers to access the personal information of thousands of residents. The county legislature is forming a bipartisan committee now with the power to issue subpoenas. The committee will look into how the county responded to that ransomware attack back on September 8th and what's being done to protect residents whose data was compromised. Well, tomorrow, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are expected to be here in the city. They are receiving the RFK Human Rights Ripple of Hope Award. The British Royals are being recognized for their work on racial justice and mental health. And their appearance comes just days after Harry and Meghan announced the upcoming release of their new Netflix documentary. Time to take a look at our weather picture. Adam, we have 47 degrees on the thermometer right now. Dry air, the dew point's at 17. Clouds going to roll in, and uh, as we hit through the afternoon, we'll be close to 50 degrees, but not quite there. Steady temperatures tonight dropping into the low 40s, much colder as we head to the north and west. And as we roll through tomorrow, looks like winds are going to be out of the southeast. Rain is going to overspread the area both tomorrow and into Wednesday, but the temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 50s. Rain accumulation, well, I'd say a good solid half inch to an inch in and around the city. Maybe a little bit more than that as we head down the shore and across the south shore of Long Island. We'll watch for that. As we head through the next 10 days, looks like we get a break on Thursday. We could see more showers coming in our direction on Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be on the dry side, but much cooler air is in place before a good stretch of wet weather rolls in as we head into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Adam? Okay, a lot of rain there, Dave. Thank you.